future definitely came a lot faster than we thought it would. Up, Bloody Nerd Again, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerd Again live reaction video is going to be for Time Paradox Ghost Rider Chapter 12 and last chapter, yep, it happened. I know died from overexhaustion because, of course, Tepe lost to her. So, now, this is going to be interesting because at the end of the chapter, um, he was sucked into a portal. Not in, not thrown into the future, per se, but we're going to find out who the Ghost Rider is this week, or at least I hope we're going to. So, anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Unfinished World. Ooh, I like this. What is this place? Where am I? I love it. It's it's the book. It's an it's an open book. There's streetlights on uh, on it. Oh god, this is cool. I love it. They're like in this void. This is a crack in space time. You might call it the blank page of the story. <gasps> Kenji, I love it. Oh right, I came here to uh, give you a piece of my mind. Why didn't you just tell me that I know would die of exhaustion? If I'd known that, I could have done something to save her. I tried that. I tried everything. What? But I still could not prevent Itsuki Aino's death. I tried to have her committed to get her into counseling, to get every person imaginable uh, to talk to her. In desperation, I even put her into an environment where it was impossible for her to draw manga. Ooh. So that didn't work e and my guess is because she was so focused on that mindset because remember remember what she said in the um a few chapters back when we saw uh, the future she because her personality was gone she got rid of her personality to do her manga to prove that she could create a manga for ev that everybody would like that's why I still couldn't prevent uh, it from happening. I couldn't because she was chasing her dream. Itsuki Aino was completely at the mercy of her all-consuming dream to draw manga that all of humanity could enjoy. When someone's chasing their dr uh, true dream, the flames of that passion cannot be extinguished by anything. Freedom of the heart is one thing that no one can take away. That dream is the source of her death. In every timeline, every alternate uh, alternate world, she will follow her dream to self-destruction. That left destroying her dream her itself as the only option to save her. No. She can still draw, but... She, you have to go to the source of the problem. Her, it's there's more to it. It's that philosophy. You gotta fucking go after that shit. Destroy your dream. That's right. That is the plot of the story. Tepi Sasaki, you were the villain I cast to destroy the dreams of the protagonist Itsuki Aino and the hero who would save her. My original plan was to give you, White Knight, the great masterpiece that Suki I know had been working on for so long so that you would put it out into the world first. This would crush her and make her give up on her dream. Dude, that would never... Dude, that would just not work. It would not work. It would just... It, and it, obviously it didn't, but... Like, really? That would not work. That, that would never have worked. And obviously it didn't. It's just going to put, it would have just pushed, it, obviously we saw what happened. It just pushed her even more. But my hopes were proven false. She did not give up on her dream. So I moved on to my next plan to tell you about her impending death, forcing you to continue White Knight on your own. I want you to tri triumph over her anima and uh, make White Knight the unquestioned greatest manga in the world. To make it so clear uh, she couldn't beat you, um, that she would give up on her dream. No, that wouldn't have worked anyway! It would just make her more determined! It would have killed her even faster! Like, it wouldn't have stopped her at all! I'm just, like, for crying out loud, she died already! She died a lot faster! All you did was speed up the process! So 
that was your plan, but why didn't you tell me about any of this? If I told you the entire truth, it would have only um, confused you, you uh, made you more hesitant. You would have begun to wonder, is living with your dreams crushed actually worse than dying in pursuit of your dreams? You might have decided the latter was the proper way to live. But my mission is to protect Itsuki Aino no matter what. I want her to live even if her dreams are broken. That's how a parent feels. What? So. That's a, Wait, that's one of her parents? Parent? Or ignore that. In any case, my plan did not work out. She was bo born with too much talent and more drive than anyone else. Then why me? Now you're showing me at my parents' house. In the original timeline where lightning never struck your building, you went on to get a regular job, but you never stopped drawing manga. And eight years later, you got a, a one-shot in the weekly jump. After reading that one-shot, Itsuki Aino conquered her fears and made the decision to bring in the White Knight storyboards uh, she'd been saving up for years. You didn't take her statement seriously, but she was correct. At your most basic level, you and she are two of a kind. Yep. Their philosophies are very similar. But the thing is, is I know her philosophy is more extreme than, um, than Tepe's. If I was going to send White Knight to anyone, you were the best choice. But it didn't entirely work out, and I only have a tiny bit of battery power left. I'm going to return us to five days before Itsuki Aino's death, and then I will stop all time. Stop time? Yes, if she is going to die no matter what, then I will at least stop time while she's alive to leave behind a world where she lives eternally. Don't! She won't! She might as well be dead! It is not the same. If the ending of this story is her death, then I choose to leave this story unfinished in the chapter before she dies. It may not be a happy ending, but at least it won't be a tragic ending either. Why do you call me now, here now to tell me all this? I have no human heart, only a duty to protect Itsuki Aino. Tepi uh, Sasaki, you have suffered greatly because of my existence, I believe. I want to give your story the opportunity to choose its own direction. Your first option is to turn back from here and live in a world where Itsuki Aino is dead. Your second is to lose your memory, return to the timeline where lightning did not, did not strike uh, your house, and live on without ever meeting Itsuki Aino. Why is there no third option? Those are your choices. Then what about this? Hmm. Here, here comes the third choice. Oh, we're not going to hear it? I see. Maybe that's not impossible, but I've never tested it. And I don't know how well it will work with my power. There are a number of uncertain vari variables. If it fails, you might die the moment we put into practice. And even if it works, I would assume that your mind will break down first. Trust me. You trusted me once when uh, you chose me for this role. Trust me again and let, let's let give it a try. I didn't choose you because I was confident it would work. When faced with limited means and possibilities, I can only cho choose the most promising option. Well, I'll bet on you. Thank you. Then I'll go with option three. Yeah! Lastly, I have one question. Who are you? I am a ghost created by mankind's power of imagination. You see? If you, oh, wait a minute. If you are a ghost created by mankind's imagination, then what did you know that what was fucking up I know shit? That was her philosophy of draining her personality and separating her personality from her, uh, from her manga. Like, I'm so, that's weird, okay? I'm confused by this. If you, if you are the ghost of, created by mankind's power of imagination. First of all, your power should be weakened because imagination is getting really, 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 like, lackluster. And the other thing is, is that you would know that I know is, um, I know's, uh, I know is keeping her, her per, how I know is doing her, um, her manga. You would know this. It's weird. And that means 
It means I'm no nothing more than a necessary character in another author's story. What? I what? I'm so confused by this. I'm sorry, but I don't have the time I, I would need to explain further. I know what, oh yes. You know who I think it is? The character specifically. Remember that old man we saw in the park? That's who that robot is. That's who it is. And um, that's why he said he, he was, he's like a parent to Ino. That's because if it weren't for him, she would have went into manga. That, okay, I get it. Oh, wait, that, um, I'm worried, so shit. Oh, that's fine. I learned what I wanted to know, which was that you wanted to help save Ino too, so thanks. I don't understand you. You didn't ask for this. It all happened to you before you had any idea what was going on. But thank you. Ooh, so time has stopped. I'm still confused. If it is the old man, like like I think it is, and he said that, that um, he went through a similar experience, that he forgot why he was making manga and he got out, then he, he should, then why did he say something like that? God, I'm not even going to question that right now. Here we go. Yeah, time has stopped. Okay, time to draw. But yeah, that's the old man. That totally is the old man. But again, the thing that is just weird to me is that he wanted to focus on her dream being crushed. But what he should have been doing is getting her to realize that what this was doing, what by she, what her philosophy was doing, since he could see her shit in every timeline, right? See her destiny in every timeline. He should have been able to re see, oh, this is what she's doing. She is separating, she is detaching herself from her work. And by doing that, it is killing her. That, uh, because she forgot why she loved manga so much. That's what he should have been doing. That's why I'm kind of like, what? What are you talking? Why didn't you, why didn't you even do that? I'm confused by this. I think that's the only, that's the main thing that's bugging me about this chapter is that. Because you, Kenji had that in, um, in Eno's chapter or Ino's chapter a few weeks ago. And I real and it broke my heart seeing that. And I really am disappointed that um that it wasn't even mentioned here considering this motherfucker just said he saw all this all the, the stuff all the separate timelines why didn't he go uh, like if he could do that why didn't he go back in time and see what was the root of it what was the philosophy and fuck if he could not read her mind it's called he would notice the pattern drives me crazy. Like, other than that, I, the writing is good. But, and what I originally thought about why um, he chose Tepe was, was accurate. I'm glad that I was right on that. But, um, I just don't like that he was he was talking about crushing her dreams. It's like, dude, if, if, it, if it is the mangaka like I think it is, it's like, dude, you should know that as a mangaka, you should know that it's not going to work. By, t by trying to crush her dreams, it's going to make her more ambitious. You got to make her, you got to get her, to, and she, you know, he tried counseling and shit like that. You, you got to get her to realize that, um, that when you, that when you detach yourself, from your work like that, that's what, it, it's going to, it's going to kill you. But that's my opinion. I'm very curious what you guys think. What do you guys think of this chapter? To me, I, I thought it was kind of weird. 
I liked there there was parts of it that I liked. I liked the concept of where they were in the space time. I really did. I liked a lot of it, but and I like that we did have the third option, which I can't wait to see. And I think I'm hoping what that third option was is to and I'm hoping Tepe realizes this. I'm hoping Tepe fucking realizes this. Is that he's going to put his personality, his heart and soul into the art. And hopefully through the art, through the manga, it will get, you know, to realize that her philosophy is wrong. That's what I'm hoping we're going to go with direction-wise. Because otherwise, I will be extremely disappointed. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Time Paradox Ghostwriter content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!